Well, for the past seven years, I have been a caregiver to my mother who has Parkinson's disease. And uh, one of the main things that she made very clear to her children is that she wanted to remain in her home. And so for the past seven years, my sisters and I have been uh, taking turns, making sure that she's as comfortable as possible, and just making sure that uh, she's in an environment that, uh, that she's familiar with and that she's comfortable with. And so uh, this particular season has been um, one of many ups and downs, but I believe one of the things that made it very stable for her is the fact that she was able to uh, remain in her own home. Well, I believe one of the benefits uh, will be uh, that she's very familiar with the environment. And one of the uh, downsides of Parkinson uh, is the memory effects that may happen very long term down the line. And also um, just uh, depression, you know, just from dealing with the illness. And so by her being able to be in her home and her, uh, every, you know, the pictures, the environment that she's familiar with, I believe that causes her, you know, to continue to, uh, to, to keep her good spirits up, uh, to know that she's in a place that uh, actually she's been in for the past 30 years. Most recently, uh, we have uh, received a very uh, small amount of support because of uh, her husband being uh, a veteran, and so she has basically received that type of help. In the past, we had hospice care that gave help but as you know, that help only came because uh, it just appears at, as if it was her last days. And so uh, because of an emergency room situation, we were cut off from that service because they don't want you to call EMS services or receive any other type of um, emergency care. And so, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a thin line when your mother is appearing to have chest pains, which could be a heart attack, and you not call 911. And so uh, she was uh, eliminated from those services because we did, you know, dial emergency services, and uh, that eliminated all the care that she would receive from them. It is extremely uh, difficult. Um, I am in ministry, so I wind up uh, resigning from my job, uh, but I have two sisters, one who is, uh, she suffers illness herself, and uh, my other sister, she has to work. And so uh, basically the, the main portion of the stress has been uh, on the person who does not work, which will be myself and uh, her husband. And uh, it's very emotionally overwhelming. It's physically overwhelming. You know, because uh, if you are not familiar with uh, medical techniques, lifting and, you know, those type of techniques, then you have to quickly educate yourself on, or, or else you will find yourself in a condition where you would need medical care. I have heard of the program, even when you are given the information, uh, the persons that you contact they kind of discourage you from signing up because they let you know up front that the wait is going to be about 10 years. And so, you know, I'm, as I'm familiar with it, but when you're in a situation where you have this person that needs care, this is your loved one that needs care on a daily basis, then uh, 10 years down the line almost seems like a hopeless situation. And so that's why we're here. We want to make sure that uh, if there's something that can be done, if our legislators or senators, you know, if we can let them know that uh, this particular problem is going to affect every household in America. People are going to get sick. People are going to need care. And I believe um, just long term that uh, it will be more cost effective to keep the individual in their home to, to provide the care uh, my mother, uh, you know, when we spoke of nursing homes, you know, it was almost as she, she became severely depressed. She had to be medicated 
you know, to bring her out of that condition. And so, you know, just mentally to know that you cannot be in the place that you uh, work so hard, you know, to make sure that you spend your golden years to be there, that's extremely difficult. And I don't believe that uh, a person because of physical illness or things outside of their control should have to be made to make that kind of decision. I would also like to say that, um, you know, where we are in America, I just believe that we should look at the things that are cost effective and managed care is cost effective for America.